Hi guys welcome to my channel and thank you so much for being here welcome to a spend the day with me today i've got an event so i thought ish and i've got a pimple i've got an event so i thought it would be a great day to to spend the day because um the past few days i haven't really been doing anything i've just been chilling at home um uh, being sad and missing my children but since today i've got an event happening i thought i would just go um it's probably like just before eight o'clock, we have oh, let's just see this back. I was about to say we have no chilling. I guess it's after eight then. And um, what I want to do is I want to go to spa. Today is Wednesday. Tomorrow is Thursday. My helper is coming. And last time she was here, she said that she's gonna need me to buy domestos and chicken, all of that stuff. So I want to go to spa. Um, I usually every morning take a walk. When the kids are around, I just go to gym. But in the mornings, like what I've been doing now, is just take a walk. And also, I'm not sure if I feel like going to the gym. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk to spa. Um, and the crazy thing is spa, gym and spa at the same mall. So maybe when I get to the spa, I might feel like going to that, going inside the gym. I'll see. Probably not. No, but I thought I'd come greet. I will tell you guys about this event a bit later. So let me just take my morning walk and come back and see. As I was walking at this office park not far from my house, I met a subscriber. She recently subscribed. Her name is Lisekho, and she came from my friend Nolanda's channel. So hey, Lisekho, if you're watching this. Time that I was out of my mind thinking you were the one that it was. 
After I finished my little groceries, I decided to go do my nails. I wasn't going to do my nails because I thought I could do them myself, but it just did not work out. I had had gelish before and I tried removing it myself. It didn't work out, so I had to bring in the professionals. With confusion, I was just substitution for a lonely bed. So that's impressive how much I'm missing with my feelings in my heart. One thing about me, once I find a color, I stick to it. Literally, the only reason why I'm going to be changing this color is because seasons are changing. Immediately after doing my nails, I wanted to quickly rush to clear water mall because, as mentioned, I had this event I wanted to go to. The theme was white, but I realized that the pants that I wanted to wear were not great, so I wanted to go get myself something. I went to H&M, Mr. Price, and Legit, and... I only got what I needed at Foshini. H&M is great, but I, fa I found them a bit expensive um, for the quality of their clothes, well, for the quality of what I wanted. Mr. Price and Legit, I don't even know why I went in. I've outgrown these shops. I feel like these are shops that my children, Alwande especially, enjoy shopping at. Personally, I've got my fair share of shopping at Mr. Price and Legit. They do have cute pieces now and then, but I have definitely outgrown these two shops. I do have to say though that I like these shorts. I might go back for them. They're from Legit and they were on sale, I think, for 120. I'm really, really tempted to go back for them once I have real money. As mentioned, I also went to Mr. Price. There were some white pants that I wanted, but they were 250. And I just felt like I'm not paying 254 pence um, from Mr. Price. I have to admit that I'm one of those people who have been sleeping on Foshini, but I think since the rebrand, I'm definitely going to be shopping there. I do find them a bit expensive as well, but they are worth it, unlike Mr. Price. I found the pants that I wanted. One thing about me, I do not fit. I trust my body, and luckily my body has never failed me yet. I'm back from outside and I literally have five minutes to talk quickly knowing me that's not going to be enough but I wanted this video to actually just be like um, a voice over thing but I, I've got things to say I always do have things to say I've been sticking my hair down to like oh guys it's still not ready hey and I don't think it's ready but anyway quickly what I've got at spa you guys Obviously, you would have seen it in the basket, but I've got some sparkling water and I've got this combo. Um, Priscilla has been asking me to get Tommy Spots for some time. And then here, yeah, these are just like all cleaning products. Got this tile cleaner, this toilet thing. I got Jake and I've got Stay Soft. So she's coming tomorrow, um, so she'll be happy. But what a reason why I want to come here is that a couple of weeks ago, I had like hectic, hectic, hectic um, power outages here. And a lady named Dianela reached out to me on email and she was just like, oh, she watched my blog and she was just not, you know, she's like, I wish I now because we didn't have electricity for three days. Then she offered to buy me a gas stove. Then I'm like, okay, cool girl. I, I literally ignored her on purpose. I chatted to her. I was just like, hey girl, you know, thanks for reaching out, blah, blah, blah. And I just tried to ignore that part of her offering the gas stove. One thing about me, guys, I do not know how to accept kindness. It's something I want to actually start doing and start teaching myself because I'm missing out on so many things because I just block people whenever they offer me help. And it's something that I, someone will literally have to force themselves on me. 
and that's exactly what Yanela did. So on my, so I realized that Yanela is in Durban. So on when I was going to Durban, I was just like, okay, you know what? Let me pass by and see her. But our schedules just did not connect. And I was just like, ah, it's okay, babe. I'll see you next time. But throughout the entire time of me speaking to her, I was literally ignoring the shit out of her when it comes to the gas stove. I was just like, let's just meet up for lunch. Let's just have lunch. It's nice that you reached out. For me, even like someone just reaching out and saying, hey, I, I'm just like, why are you so nice? Why are you so kind? I'm not used to that. So, and then I came back from Durban. I haven't really been active on WhatsApp. Um, so we haven't really been chatting. And then this morning, I wake up to like a text. She sent that Capitec thing. But now, Connor, she sent it. When I look at my WhatsApp, she sent it like three days ago. And I'm just like, you have to be kidding me. She sent a text and she was just like, hey, I remember I promised you a guest off. Here's the money. And I'm just like, and it was she sent a lot of money. I don't know how many how much gas stoves are, but I mean I was just like damn girl. So I just wanted to come here, give her like a, a special, special shout out. Thank you so much, not only for your kindness and reaching out, but thank you for forcing yourself, forcing it basically. Not forcing yourself, but forcing yeah, I guess forcing your kindness on me because I would have never accepted it. But when someone says here's the money, I'm just like it's rude to take it to send it back number one, number two. So a special shout out to Uyanela Mdai and oh, may God bless you. All the all the blessings. Magwande basically. Whew. And then I am going to this event that I spoke to you guys about earlier. It is an Elizabeth Elizabeth Arden event. One thing, um, if you're new to this channel, you won't know that I am a journalist by training by profession, I guess. I worked as a journalist from, a lifestyle journalist from 2010 up until maybe two, three years ago, where I was just like, this industry is a bit too much for me. Um, and also the money, there's no money in journalism. Not to discourage anyone who's coming into the industry, but just keep in mind that you chose passion over paycheck. And I left the industry, but during my time in the industry, I was a lifestyle journalist. Shit, guys, when I tell you I traveled the world, there's no event I didn't go to. I used to go to a lot of events, three to four events a day. There'll be times where I wouldn't eat at home. I know that when I leave my house, I'm going to a breakfast event. Then after that, we have a lunch event. Then after that, we have a dinner event. Then after that, that, that dinner event probably takes you to, to the club. So for the longest time in my career, I think for the first five years of my career, events, 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 events. So I'm not an event person. Because of that, I'm tired. I left the industry because I was just like, it's tiring. You go to the same event, you do the same thing, you see the same people, blah, 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 blah. And it's just, they're great for connections. They're great for the goodie bags. They're great for free food. But there comes a time, the older you get, all of those things don't matter. So as a result, from branching out from being a journalist to being like freelancer, and you don't know how many event invitations I decline. And people always think, oh, why don't you go to events? Oh, I've always sometimes even see the comments here about, oh, we are praying for more events for you. I do get the invites, you guys, but unfortunately, I just don't want to. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it without sounding like a very spoiled brat, but these events are not what you guys think they are, especially the beauty industry. When I was a lifestyle journalist, I used to go to a lot of lifestyle events. So travel, um, health, parenting, finance and stuff. And the beauty events were reserved for the beauty editors. But I moved from being a lifestyle journalist to being a digital editor in my career. And as a digital editor, you basically do everything. So then the beauty events, the fashion events started coming. Fashion events, I love them. The fashion girls are very, very nice. But also in a corner, guys, I'm speaking of this as a journalist. The people that are attending these events now, when I look at these events, are not the same people I attended the events with before. Uh, influencer thing is new in my world. And I see now that publications and these, basically these places are preferring to, in to invite influencers over journalists. And maybe that's also because there's not a lot of lifestyle journalists or there's not a lifestyle publications anymore. Like Bona reopened true love I'm, and, and these are the ones i used to work for and these are the these are the ones that were in demand at that time so when i say what i'm saying now i don't want you guys to think that i'm talking about any any group specifically because as i'm saying the people that i'm seeing attending these events now are not the same people so things obviously have changed but one thing about the beauty industry for me even when i was still in the journalist i still a journalist the girls are not nice i'm not even gonna sugarcoat it the girls are mean 
The girls are clicky and the girls are very much high school, you can't sit with me. That was back then. I, as a result, have declined every beauty event I've been invited to because that PTSD of going into an event and finding clicks and finding people are just like, hmm. You know, um, I can count the number of, of journal, beauty journalists that back then that I used to click with. Literally, I can probably, there's three of them. And count the people that I feel as if they were not the mean, you can't sit with me type. So as a result, I've declined all of these events because I just don't want to put myself in that situation. Even though I know that it's not the same group of people. There are, no, there are beauty influencers now, new beauty journalists, new whatever, but my PTSD doesn't allow me. So when I got this invite, it's a Elizabeth Arden event. Um, the only reason why I'm going is because the lady who invited me um, is also helping me out with the goodie bags for the Mother's Day event. So I was just like, you know what? This is literally a relationship building. Me and this lady, the lady who invited me, we've been working together ever since I started as a journalist. Wow, 2010? What? 2020, 13 years ago. So we've been working together for 13 years. Even when I ventured in, when I, I left the industry, I started my own little blog called The Millennial Mom. Before YouTube, I had a blog called The Millennial Mom. It still exists. And she supported me. She supported me through a lot in my career. And when she invited me to this, I was just like, firstly, because it's you, I'm going to go. Um, and thank you so much for the invite. Secondly, she was just like, as much as maybe Elizabeth Arden won't be able to sponsor your event, she does have other beauty brands that can. So I was just like, you know what, let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go, let me suck myself up, let me, let me go, go with a different mindset. As mentioned, the girls that I used to attend events with before are not the same girls that are attending these events, even though I do hope to see one, two, three of the girls that I used to attend the events with before. I'm not going to say much about your faves, the influencers, the YouTubers and stuff, but some of the events that some of the spaces that I've been in around them, they also haven't been the kindest. But one thing I've learned throughout my career is that you will find your people, you will find your, your tribe. Most of the friendships that I have now are people that I met at events, either at work or events. So I'm not worried too much about being uncomfortable now, but I think I just, my PTSD is getting the best of me now, which is, oh my gosh, here we go again. It is a beauty event. So there'll be beauty people. And these are the same people that I feel like have not been, haven't treated me well, I don't know if maybe because of the way I look, maybe I don't speak a certain way, I don't sound a certain way, because there's a lot of classism in our space. There's a lot of classism in the world, but this space, there's a lot of that. So I'm going there with an open mind, but on the same breath, uh, I know that I'm not going to fit in. Basically, that's the word. I don't fit in, in this space in this beauty space but i need to go because i made a commitment number one number two i'm hungry it's at lunch it starts from 12 to 12 past two to sit down lunch number three um as mentioned the lady who invited me someone who supported me since i started and this is the least i can do so i had 10 minutes to talk because i need to now go, go quickly get ready i'm starving i haven't eaten this morning it's 11 o'clock now i need to quickly get ready the event starts at 12 luckily it's only it's not far from my house it's about 18 minutes from my house so i have about 14 minutes to get ready and that for me is enough guys and i take five minutes makeup anyway let me show you also while i'm here i ended up getting these pants at Foshini. i'm gonna wear them lucia had gotten me gave me borrowed me a blazer and white jeans but I'm going to wear the blazer with this and a bodysuit and sneakers. I'm not a heels girl. I used to be. Not anymore. I want to be comfortable. So I'm going to go get ready quickly. Luckily, we don't have low shading, so I can iron this. But, oh yes, the theme is white, gold, and sunset couture. I don't know what sunset couture, couture is. Couture, couture. I don't know what sunset couture is, but I'm just going to go with the white and gold. Lucia also borrowed me gold earrings, so that's what I'm going to wear. Let's quickly go get ready. I'm going to shower, put my makeup on. Let's go get ready. Your heart, keep it in your pocket for safekeeping. Don't ever let nobody be the reason. You throw it out, you stop caring about it. Don't let your head get in the way.
Okay, you guys, I'm ready. Um, this is what I look like. My hair is not ready. I had to put this band on. My Uber's here. I'm gonna go. Let's go to the event. Sorry. Well, I'm supposed to be there at 12, so I was running late. So I'll probably be there now at quarter past 20 past. Which side do I go? This way. Alright, thank you. Just arrived, you guys. Looks like I'm early. Well, let's see. Hello. Hello. Very good on you. Hi. She's putting all our alpha cars down on the table, knowing there's no way that she'll be able. To win this one But she's somebody else in the making First, she's just gotta stop all the faking And she'll be there But she's wondering if it's gonna feel like this forever Wondering if it's gonna feel like this whenever She leaves her safe space she leaves her safe space Wondering if it is forever Or is there some place that will make her feel better Make her feel better Then that's where she'll go She's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever Wondering if it's gonna feel like she's whenever she leaves her safe space She leaves her safe space Wondering if it is forever Or is there some place that will make her feel better Make her feel better Then that's where she'll go Talking to myself like someone's gonna respond I'm getting tired of myself cause I don't know what I want But I'm not out here on my, out here on my own Wondering if it is forever Or is there some place that'll make her feel better Make her feel better And that's where she'll go Hey guys, I'm back from my event. My hair didn't like slick down properly, but in the front it looks good. It's just that in the back, I need to redo it. But I'm back from my event. I'm so glad that I went. Everything that I spoke about when I first, first, before I went, I left for the event about how I don't like the beauty um, industry. I don't like the beauty events because the girls are very clicky. The girls are very constant with us um there was not one in sight not one i'm so excited i got there i saw journalists that i worked with five ten years ago 
so excited to see everyone. I saw Agnes, Alexis, I saw Shlochi, I saw this lady from Sunday Times, her name is Nokbonga, and then I met this amazing lady, um, she's young, She her name is Pai, she's with Longevity Magazine, it was like a real journalist, and I don't want to be taken out of context, guys. Even when I said what I said earlier and what I'm saying now, I don't want it to be take I don't want to be taken out of context. I don't want it to seem like I'm a hater or whatever. But if you are in the journalism industry five, six, seven, ten years ago and the way the world has shifted now, you will know what I'm talking about. Um, so it was nice to be with those people that I used to be with. I've attended events with beauty, um, I've attended events with influencers and I've attended events with journalists. And I have to say that obviously the ones that I like and enjoy the most are the ones with journalists. The influencer industry is not, is not kind. And now I don't wake up and decide people are not my favorite people. They need to do something. And unfortunately this industry as fancy as it looks, well, I'm, uh, the beauty, I'll, I'm just, I don't know, the influencer industry, as fancy as it looks, as great as it looks, some of your faves are not good people. They're not nice people. So I was quite nervous about going into this event, thinking that I'm going to see the same people that have literally shut me out because as mentioned earlier, I don't know, maybe I don't look a certain way, I don't talk a certain way, I don't, I don't act a certain way. So obviously I do know that I'm not everybody's cup of tea, but unfortunately our little industry is very fickle. It's very fickle, it's very fake, it's something I've been complaining about since I, I got joined this industry in 2010. It's nothing new, it's just that I was nervous about how how today was going to be. But I'm so glad I got the invite, I'm so glad I accepted the invite because my God, I saw people that I've missed. I saw people that I didn't even think they were still in the industry. I saw people that I lost contact with. I, my heart is full. My heart is extremely full. I'm happy that I went. And also while being there, obviously I spoke to uh, Monique, the lady who organized the event, the lady who's also organizing some of our goodie bags. I'm so excited for you guys to see what's going to be in there. Um, speaking of the goodie bags, can I show you mine? This is my goodie bag, not the one that's going to be on the Mother's Day um, pack, even though I would love for this to be on the pack. But this is the goodie bag that we got. Um, it is, um, oh, it's a, cause I was just like, did they give us two perfumes? No, they gave us one perfume. It was a perfume la launch. You guys, I have to press this on this too. You know what, I'm using my phone so you won't see it anyway. So I'm just gonna turn it around and show you. It's this perfume. It smells nice. Um, and this is the box I get, I guess um yeah and then a cute box with a plant is it a fake plant yeah it's a fake fake plant i'm going to be i'm going to reuse this and decorate my house somewhere because it's a fake plant but we got this i'm very excited we had a three course meal it was lovely it was the event was exactly how i remember um journalist lifestyle events back then once again, I do not want to be taken out of context. I don't want to be big, seem as if I'm a hater. I'm not. I'm proud of the the how you know things have moved from journalism to influencer to this and this and this. But I do have a right to say I miss the good old days. You know, I do miss the good old days. I miss those events where it was genuine. It was well, the beauty industry has never really been genuine. But like I've always had people that I knew, but these were my people, and I saw them today. Whew! But okay, that was the event. That is done. I am going to, um, it's around probably half past three now. I'm going to do a little bit of work. And then I'm actually thinking I look good. I smell amazing because obviously it was a perfume event. So like I've got like 10,000 cents on me right now. So I'm just like, do I want to take myself out for dinner? Or do I want to be cozy indoors? I think I'm going to take myself out for dinner. So while manje, I'm just going to work a bit. My house is filthy, um, but my helper is coming tomorrow. So I'm going to do what I can. Um, or maybe not. I'm lazy, but I'm going to work a bit. I mean, let me chill a bit. You know what? Let me actually take myself out for dinner. I'm going to chill a bit and work and go on a solo dinner date. I'm going to come back, take a bath. You guys know when the kids are not around, mommy will take a bath 
or at least a long shower but i'll probably take a bath today but let me charge my phone work a bit and i'll see you guys when i take myself out for dinner so much cuz i really care too much it's all just overwhelming i'm just overthinking i feel like i'm too much keep mistaking my anxiety for intuition and stress keeps getting in the way of my ambition logically guys i for completely forgot that i have therapy today so ooh. so i have therapy from half past five to half past six it's 10 past five now so i don't know if i want to still take myself out on a date if anything i think oh it's too late now because i'm thinking maybe i should just order something i don't know because half past six, let's say I go on this date, I'm there at seven. And then by eight, I come back. I still get a chance to take a bath. I'm not going to take a bath, actually. <laughs> take a long shower and relax in bed. Yeah, I'm going to take myself out, actually. Yeah, let me do that. Because it's not like I need to get ready for the solo date. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to go to Lupa, probably. Or oh, where should I go? Yeah, I think Lupa is going to be fine and i'm not really a fan of food from lupa because a they are like a a, a an Ital is it Ital are they Ital italian restaurant yeah i think it's an italian restaurant so they specialize in pasta and pizza and i'm not a pasta person like i would never go to a restaurant i mean i've been to a restaurant and i ordered pasta but like it's not something i wake up craving um but i'll see i think i'm gonna take myself out and go there for a solo date and then come back definitely not taking a bath and the reason why i'm not taking a bath is because my wigs the bathtub is full of my wigs i thought i was going to wash them today not happening but i'm gonna have to wash them eventually before um priscilla my helper comes tomorrow because i don't want the her to find them there um so i'm just gonna take a long shower and i come back relax and yeah we'll see let's let's get ready you see, i even have my tissue clothes i'm ready to <laughs> let's get ready for therapy but i feel like for the first time in a very long time i've got a lot of like positive things to share with her oh i think the most positive thing that i'd like to share with her is that i'm alone and the kids are not here but i need her to help me i mean i don't know if she can help me but like one thing i struggle with when it comes to school holidays and when my kids are not around is who am i outside these kids and sometimes i don't even feel like i want to find out who i am outside these kids because what's the point i'm gonna find out who i am outside these kids and in a week or two they're back and then life is back to how i know it to be so it's i'm that's just something i'd like to talk to my therapist therapist about like how do i navigate all of this how do i become who I am outside these kids, even when the kids are back, because I love my kids to death, but I don't want my entire identity to be a mother. Like as a result, I was editing my weekend vlog and it was 45 minutes and it could have been shorter because there are some scenes that I dragged, but I was just like, when the kids are around, my weekend vlogs are over an hour. So it just, do I not do things without them? Like, it just like made me wonder how i was able to compress the whole weekend into 45 minutes but when the kids are around literally my weekend vlogs can go up to three hours it's just that i edit and i edit and i edit and ends up becoming an hour so it's just things like that i'm just like do i who am i outside these kids who am i outside being a mom 
and i know obviously she's not going to give me the answer but she always gives me something to think about so i'm looking forward to talking to her about that i'm looking forward to venting about the fact that that deadbeat ass um baby daddy of mine wants his school fees back really really ramaposa really um i want to vent to her about that i've vented to basically all my friends i vented on facebook i even trended on facebook i was called all kind of names I don't care um i vented to everyone who's been willing to listen but i need a, a, a sounding board now i need someone who's going to I actually don't even know what i need her to tell me yeah i think the most amazing thing that has happened for me is not having the kids around but i'm just struggling with what the hell do i do without them who am i without them so let's, let's figure that out let's see let's unpack let's unpack with my therapist and i'll see you guys definitely gonna take myself out for dinner i'll see you guys when we are done here i don't wanna care so much cause i really care too much it's all just overwhelming i'm just overthinking i feel like i'm too much Keep mistaking my anxiety for intuition And stress keeps getting in the way of my ambition Logically, I know I shouldn't feel this way But my body doesn't agree with my brain I'm looking over my shoulder One thing about therapy you will realize things you will realize things that you didn't even think you could realize so that's exactly what happened so instead of taking myself out i decided i just wanted to take a bath i wanted to relax i wanted to soak off the day i wanted to wash all those tears that i cried during therapy but you know what the nice thing about therapy is that eventually it gets better and the realizations will be good for you in the long run done with the bath i realized that i was hungry but because it was raining i couldn't even get uber eats so i wanted to make like a quick meal and i made myself some good old fries i wanted literally slap chips but i didn't have vinegar so i did what i could it was actually a great meal at the end of the day You guys therapy was a bit of a roller coaster but as mentioned i'm glad i'm in therapy because i know it eventually gets better but i was extremely tired by the end of it all and i just wanted to eat and sleep you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time broken heart and shattered lives let me go